Hey everybody. So this next video is using the air fryer. We're going to try and make some uh, wings Old Bay style. Uh, in order to do that, uh, you need Old Bay, some oil. Uh, I'm going to use a little bit of sea salt. There's a lot of salt inside the Old Bay, but uh, I'm going to just uh, prepare the wings a little bit with just a little bit of this and some fresh ground pepper. Uh, once we do that mix up, uh, then we'll put it in the fryer. So we're going to start with the chicken. Stand by. All right, guys, we got our chicken wings. I don't know. I got about maybe 10 of them in here. Uh, cleaned them up. Left the wing on the drumstick. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of oil. Not a whole lot. I'm going to put a little bit of oil on them. Mix that together, right? Just so that they're lightly coated because this fryer gets a little temperamental if, uh, if it's too much oil going on in here. Um, hopefully I didn't put too much. So we'll mix them around a little bit, got them mixed up nice. Next thing we're gonna do is put that oil out of the way. Need a little bit of this, uh, sea salt not a whole lot because like I said before the Old Bay has a lot of salt in it give it a mix looking good looking good and I'm a pepper type guy a little napkin here wipe my hand off so I uh, I don't know just a couple sprinkles of the pepper grinder in there some pepper on there. I know the Old Bay is going to be the dominant seasoning of this Old Bay wings. Like you see, we peppered it up. I don't know if you can see that. Kind of overexposed with the lighting. We'll mix that pepper around a little bit. Now, the fun part is taking your Old Bay, that's your Old Bay seasoning. Uh, if you're from Maryland, you know what this stuff is. And closer states make all kinds of really good food with this, but. Uh, Gives the wings a really good flavor. So we'll uh, just kind of cover them up so that they got a nice coating on them so that when the wings are cooking in this fryer, which I've never used before, I mean, they get a nice flavor to them, right? You don't want to not have enough of this stuff, especially when it's cooking. You can always add some later, but... The idea is to try to get it to cook in to the wings while they're in the fryer, the air fryer. And um, that way it tastes better, you know? I don't think it tastes good when it's not all the way cooked in. So, I mean, I you can never have too much Old Bay. You really can't. So we're going to try that batch. I don't know if you can see the seasoning all over that bad boy, but man, it, I'll tell you what, it freaking smells awesome. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our, this uh, pan, I, I lightly coated it with some like Pam or whatever that spray oil stuff is. But we're gonna take some of these guys, and we're gonna just put them in this pan. We're going to basically get them in this pan and I'm going to just put them around it so that they are completely in the pan. I'm not going to let too much of it sit on top of each other, but I'm going to try and get them all in here. Pretty big pan. Box did say it was like five quarts or over five quarts or whatever. So you can see that got all the wings in there. So now the moment of truth, right? Again, I've never done this before. I'm gonna look at the trusty guide here that tells me how to make hot wings, but we're gonna make our own wings. We're not gonna make hot wings. 
So we're gonna take this bad boy now, slide it in there, and that's my dog in his big mouth. I guess he wants some wings. We're gonna hit the power button, quiet down. Now according to the directions, it says to press the button and adjust the cooking minutes, 25 minutes at 400 degrees. So let's try that. Let's uh, take this guy up to 25 minutes. And this is the temperature. We'll take it up to 400 degrees. That's as high as it goes with this thing, 400. So again, whoa, kind of started on its own there. I didn't even expect that. Uh, it said press M for the French fry icon and press the power button. Let me, I got to start this over again. So let me, uh, let me press, let me hit the power button to shut it off. All right. Now I'm going to turn the power button back on. It's, uh, it ain't stopping. Hey, you're witnessing it just like me. I'm going to open this bad boy up for a sec. Get it to stop. Close it back up. I'm going to hit power button. I'm going to hit M. All right. I hit M, just like it said. Take it up to 25 minutes. Make sure it's on 400 degrees. Okay. So 25 minutes at 400 degrees. Barking dog wants some wings. Sorry, guys. And uh, that's a parrot also in the background. Noisy joint. We're going to let this cook. And halfway through, we're going to flip the wings. So we'll come back halfway through. All right? See you in a sec. Hey, guys. It's down to 22 minutes. I'm going to bring it in so you can see it. That's what that bad boy looks like at 400 degrees. Little spinning indicator. Says 22 minutes. Smells pretty good. I can already smell the Old Bay seasoning. Uh, it smells really, really good. Anyway, uh, it's just about halfway through to flip the wings. So, got me some little tongs. So we'll pull it open at about 12 minutes. It's about halfway. And we'll flip them over, throw it in for the rest of the way. Directions state to always keep it on a strong surface, not a wobbly surface. And before you pull this bin out by this handle, they want you to make sure that you hold on to the, to the unit, but not hold on to it. I mean, it doesn't feel too hot to the touch, but they claim that it gets very hot, and I believe them. So I've got an oven mitt and another little oven thing. That way I'm gonna hold it with an oven mitt and open it with an oven mitt. In case it is hot, I don't wanna take any chances. This is what the direction says. That's what I'm gonna do. If you're gonna get one of these things, follow the directions. Don't do anything crazy, because I'm certainly not gonna do anything crazy. But uh, we're gonna come back when it's down to 12 minutes. You can see me flipping them over, sticking them back in, going another 12 minutes. And hopefully, uh, it'll be done. If not, we'll, we'll cook them a little bit longer. We'll test one, see if it's okay. You know how chicken is, you can't be too to uh, careful when you're cooking chicken. You don't want to get sick. So we'll come back in a little bit and we'll flip them over. Talk to you in a sec. This is the only part about cooking that's a pain in the butt. Waiting. It'll keep going, but you want to make sure you set a timer or something or keep your watch on because when you got to come back to flip them over you want to do it the way it says right I was reading on and it said that uh, halfway through the process like I mentioned you flip it over we're gonna let it cook for another 12 minutes then it says to take them out set it for another eight minutes at 400 degrees after you add your sauce or whatever it is you want to cook them in I'm not adding any sauce or anything we might at that point add some more old bay depending on how the chicken looks and then we'll put it in for another eight minutes so all in all it's uh 25 minutes plus eight minutes at 400 degrees right 
It's about 33 minutes total it takes to cook these wings, I hope. I'm, it smells so good. The Old Bay is just, it's smelling up the whole house. It's wonderful. This stuff is, is terrific. You know, I wonder if I can cook onions in here. You know how people like eating shrimp with onions in Old Bay? Oh, that's so good. Maybe we can throw some onions in here uh, in, at the eight minute mark or something. I don't know. We'll have to read and research and try it out. But we're coming down now. It's, uh, where we at? We're at 13 minutes. So in a second, we're going to pull them out and flip them over. Show you how that, how that works. And I'm on a nice granite countertop, hard surface. They would say to make sure you set it on a non-burning area. So you're not going to burn granite. Uh, just be on the safe side. I don't want to do anything dangerous first time using it like I said it's really quiet and there's not a lot of smoke or anything coming out of the unit it's uh, pretty pretty amazing actually um, I just hope it cooks the way it says it cooks all right so at this point it's at the 12 minute mark I'm gonna put my hand on top so to, to, to steady the unit as I pull out the, this bottom part so we're gonna give this bottom part a yank Oh yeah, oh, my God, guys, look at this thing. I don't know if you can see that. Man, they're getting golden brown already and they've only been in there 12 minutes. So now we're gonna flip them over. They look wonderful. I definitely needed old, more Old Bay on them, I can tell you that. So I'm gonna hold the one end with my oven mitt as I flip them over. And I'm sorry you can't really see me flipping them over, but Come on, like how exciting is flipping over chicken really, right? Can't be that exciting. But uh, I gotta make sure I flip them all over. I don't wanna miss none, especially the ones down the bottom here. I'll flip them all over. And uh, they evenly cook as the directions state. Um, neat thing about this is that the bottom of it this part here that I'm flipping them out of, it detaches from the actual metal tray that has this really neat gold coating on it. It's supposed to be like professional grade coating. But both of these parts, and only these two parts, they say is dishwasher safe. So we, um, we certainly wanna make sure that we dishwash it I'm gonna put some more Old Bay on it now. I'm not gonna wait for the eight minute mark. I can see that it needs it. Just kinda of coat these again a little bit more. Oh, this stuff is so good. You guys have no idea. If you've never tried Old Bay, anybody out there in different states or whatever, it is the bomb. I mean, you can put this stuff on anything, right? You can put it on shrimp obviously we steam crabs in maryland with old bay you can put it on chicken you can just put it on just about anything you want to eat it is delicious all right we're going to shove this back in let's put our oven mitts on again remember it's supposed to automatically continue so let's see they're all flipped over put them in for another 12 minutes is it continuing where we left off? It's at 400 to 12 minutes. It's starting right back up where we left off. That's fantastic. So we're gonna let it cook for another 12 minutes, pull it out for eight, put it back in, and then uh, or put it in back in for eight, and then we'll, we're gonna try them. So I'm gonna wait till we're done, and then I'll come back to you guys, and we'll try it, see how it tastes, see if they're done. Be right with you. All right, guys. The 12 minutes ended, eight minutes is down to one minute. So this should be it. They should be finished at this point. So it's gonna beep here any second and we'll take a look at them. I can't wait to eat one. We're too damn hot to, to eat. But we'll give it a college try, I'll tell you that. This thing's pretty cool, guys, I gotta tell you. The chicken looks amazing in this thing. I and mean, I wasn't a believer, but I'm a believer. 
Power Air Fryer XL. Again, I'm not getting paid. I paid for this with my own money out of BJ's. I'll put a link card at the top for the video I made of the unboxing of this thing. But it's yelling at me. Let me open it up. Don't you bark. Here we go. Moment of truth. Oh my God. Look at those. Here you go, guys. Check it out. Oh, listen. You can hear it's still sizzling. Look how good they look. Oh. I'm going to take one of them out with my tongs. You can check it out. Get a nice piece to look at. Look at this. Look at that piece of chicken. Is that not amazing? I mean, oh my God. Now I'm probably gonna burn my face off. Yeah, they're too hot. Ooh, that's good. Anyway, pick one up. I'm gonna tell you what, I'm diving into these. Uh, I hope you like this video. Um, this was pretty good. Maybe we'll cook something else. Leave some comments down below if you liked it. My name's Marco. I appreciate you to hit the subscribe button also. Uh, we'll do some more cooking videos if you want me to. Uh, we'll try and cook all kinds of stuff in this thing. But I'll tell you, for me and my boy, chicken wings, it's a way to go. Talk to you later. Thank you. Bye.